Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and I have an unboxing of Papercraft Society. This is box number 32 by Olga Direktorenko. There was recently a um, kind of coupon code offer for 20% off. I don't know if it was everything or if it was um, sort of what Craft Stash puts out, but it applied to the Paper Craft Society boxes, so I took it as an opportunity to pick up a few of them that I've been eyeing for a while. Um, as it is, they are a fantastic value for money, um, but when they go on sale, cannot resist. So, in this box, I've already opened everything and haven't taken a super close look, but I did repackage everything so that you can kind of see how I like to store it. But we do get this bottle of... It's called Accent Glaze, and it's, I don't know the, the number of ounces, but it looks to be a fair, a fair amount. So, uh, oh, 60 milliliters, so two ounces. And this is basically, I'm presuming, going to be like your Glossy Accents or Diamond Glaze. And it's funny that they call it Accent Glaze because that's kind of a combination of the two. <laughs> Um, then what I've been able to fit into the, uh, folio here is everything that originally came in the folio plus the items that you also get, which typically come wrapped in tissue paper. So go ahead and open this up. Of course, we do get a booklet and inside here you'll find uh, probably if it's like uh, the previous booklets you'll find an interview with Olga so you can learn a little bit more about the designer who curated and designed this box and as well there's going to be tons of projects that you have lovely color photos of and step-by-step -step instructions for how to create and some of the instructions even have uh, photos to accompany so that you can kind of um, you know craft along and I, I haven't I don't know exactly what page it is in this booklet but if you get the box look inside the booklet for a website URL where you'll be able to download some extra digital freebies that come with the box. So often it will um, include the digital version of these pattern papers, which are exclusive to the kit. So you'll never be able to like buy this unless you buy another complete box. But they've um, oftentimes, I don't know if it's every time, but Whenever I've checked, there's, I think, always been the digital papers that you can then download and print off more if you have um, access to a color printer. And so that's really fantastic because if you're working on maybe a larger project or you want to create cards um, in mass, then you can always download the papers and then print off as many as you need. So check for that. And then sometimes you get other, um, other digital freebies too, like templates to create different types of maybe 3D projects. I've seen that in the past as well. So then just diving right in, let, since we're talking about the papers, let me go ahead and show them. So we have um, some pattern papers and then some solid color cardstock. So that's lovely. Um, there's a theme of bubbles in this kit. And one interpretation I can already see of bubbles is your alcohol, like beer and wine and champagne. So... I'm guessing that's why we have this sort of look. This is very, um, there's sort of some wine labels. There's some beer bottle caps, um, a little cork here, or a couple of wine bottle corks. Oh, that's lovely. This has a very like vineyard kind of grapey feel. So there's that. Here's another one that's um, could be like wine bottle labels as well. So I guess these are along the kind of alcohol interpretation of bubbles. Then the other interpretation of bubbles is actual like bubbles, like a bubble bath. <laughs> so then we have these. These are, um, I say pattern papers, but they're, I, if I had to guess, I would say maybe 60 pound cover weight. So a nice lightweight cardstock. So good for layering. They are single sided and 
they are A5 in size. So this is really lovely. I don't know if the camera can really pick it up, but it's sort of like a bubble um, pattern overlaid on top of a watercolor sort of design. So it might be too subtle for my camera to pick up, but that's really, really lovely. Then we have um, some coordinating solid color cardstock. And I would, I would say this feels a little bit thicker than the pattern papers. So I would gauge this at maybe 80 pound. It is a uh, white core, so great for embossing and then sanding down if you like that distressed look or um, tearing it if you like that look so then you can expose that white core. And let's see, we got eight sheets, all different colors. Look at that. So I can see some of these colors would be fantastic for wine and beer. And then I think some not quite as bright as some of the pattern papers are, but I think they still would coordinate really, really well. So really lovely, a lot a lot of papers here. And then there was that one sheet of, um, really, I think two sheets that you can use as toppers. Um, so that's, that's fantastic. So those are our papers. Let me go ahead and use this. So then we have a stamp set, an A5 stamp set. And I think this will also kind of tell us a lot about the theme here. So you can already see there's um, somebody in the bath just enjoying and relaxing. And then we have a lot of um, like the champagne beer bottle, some glasses of beer and champagne. So, so really lovely images, nice and big too. And some sentiments to go along with it. So um, there's some really fun ones and they're all sort of themed along the whole idea of bubbles. Um, so really, really fun. And then a lot of little stamps too that you can kind of use to just add little accents to um, to your card. So that is the A5 stamp set. And then we also have an embossing folder. This is um, more for a USA2 size card. So this is a USA2 panel, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. So if I fit that in there, so it's a little bit smaller. Let me see if I open this. Um, yeah, so it doesn't quite get fully, I think there's like maybe an eighth of an inch that won't fit into the folder. But um, generally when I'm embossing, I don't emboss my card blank itself. It's usually a matte layer that's going on top of my card base, which I don't often um, cut my mats to be the full size of my uh, card base. So I think this still works perfectly fine for me, but it does look like it's got some lovely, like a lovely bubble pattern to it. Something unique for me in my craft room. I don't have a pattern like that in an embossing folder. So I think that would be really fun to craft with. Then we have our die set, which um, some of it looks to be uh, coordinating dies that will cut out the stamps. Let me check. Let me double check. That. Actually, no, I don't think any of them are coordinating. I thought that... Nope. They're all... So it's standalone. Um, so that's interesting. I thought some of these bubbles were cut out, but it's not, these don't actually match up with, um, the dies here. Oh, so let's have a close look at the dies since they're all going to offer something, uh, unique to, um, your crafting. So we have, so this is one of the things that really attracted me to this kit in particular. It's this cool bubble um, border, but what I didn't know when I was first looking at the um, product listing is I assumed that the way this die worked is that this portion here will stay attached to your card. And then I thought that this uh, side, opposite side actually cuts away, but it doesn't because it's there isn't a solid outside cutting edge. So you can see there's 
like a, a gap right there. So that means that portion is going to stay attached to whatever cardstock is on this side. So that makes this even neater because then you can cut this sort of uh, little bubble pattern into like the center of your card if you wanted and just you would have these little aperture openings that you can maybe create a shaker out of and it's interesting also that there's going to be some embossed detail and how you can tell that it's embossed is that look how there's extra metal here and then there's these portions that have been cut away from the metal What's going to happen is that metal will push into your cardstock and then where there isn't metal, that's going to appear raised. So it'll be embossed as opposed to a debossed design, which if you look at the girl here, solid metal, but there's raised metal here, but it's not quite as raised as the cut line. So that means that that extra bit of raised metal will push even further into your cardstock, leaving a an impression, so a debossed design. So, um, so that's really lovely. There's a little girl who is um, blowing bubbles. And because it does have those debossed lines, you could cut her out as a silhouette and she would have some of those extra details, or you could cut her out of white and then use those debossed lines as sort of suggestions for how and where to color. Um, so that's always an option as well. So there's um, that die, but going back to this um, die here, the die that has all of the intricate rings, bubbles, um, it does not have the outside cutting edge, but separately there is this die out here which matches it um, exactly. So if you did want to create a shaped border or a shaped edge, you could combine the two and then that would cut off whatever paper is on this side and you can have a really cool um, uh, edge that has that this bubble design to it. And this here doesn't seem to align with anything specifically. When I look at this, I see clouds. So I think that would be a really great die to cut out um, cloud formations. And then maybe you could even layer up several. So it's just a, a nice border die. It's pretty long. So let's see, I'll just measure it. So it is uh, about six inches. So you can cut a length if you do like to uh, make a uh, USA two size cards. You can see that uh, both of these border dies are uh, longer than the longest dimension, which is five and a half. So that's pretty cool. Then we have some additional bubble dies here that um, cut into your card. Uh, these circles which if you create like maybe an underwater scene these could be like little air bubbles kind of coming to the surface so that's kind of cool then you have more um rings that kind of mimic um these here and so you have this that it's all connected in in this formation or this grouping and then you get individual rings so there is an outside and an inside cutting edge to this so you get proper rings and the disc um, out of the center and there's three sizes of these so I think that'll be fun to craft with we have a little rubber ducky we've also got some words so we have this one says enjoy and that one says relax. So nice, really fun die set, very, um, I like that it's, uh, I would have liked coordinating you know, dies to cut out the stamped images, but I'm, I'm not missing it too much because I feel like the images are rather large and they do seem simple to cut out. Uh, fussy cut out so I don't think I'll I'll have to work too too hard at that um, and then the last thing that comes in this um, box is in this little envelope here and it is some um, kind of like your water droplets so these are sort of um, 
half spheres perfectly super super clear look how clear they are um they are rather dimensional I mean, they're they're pretty pretty thick um so bear that in mind if you are going to use them i don't know if this might um uh require extra postage but i'll see if i can measure the thickness so it is uh over an eighth of an inch i would say which i think is still okay because i think it's at the quarter inch mark where in the u.s anyways you would have to pay for extra postage because it's too thick um but yeah beautiful super clear droplets there and that's great with water and stuff because it's almost like those dew drops so i think that's pretty awesome so that is the um paper craft society box 32 and um when i craft with this kit i will be certain to link to that video at the end of this one and um I don't know exactly when that will be. <laughs> Actually, I have quite a few Paper Craft Society boxes that I have yet to craft with. Um, but as I mentioned, when they go on sale, they are such a fantastic deal that it is really hard for me to pass them up. So um, thanks for joining me today. Until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day.